and welcome to the UCA Review Show. Um, we're here to talk about our top three favourite releases of 2011 in the gaming world. I'm Greg Lee and I'll be talking about the new Pokemon game, Pokemon Black and Pokemon White. I'm Jane Horswell and I'll be talking about Little Big Planet 2. I'm Dean Mears and I'll be talking about Tiger Woods 2012. Alright, now, the new Pokemon game, Pokemon Black and White, is for the Nintendo DS and it came out literally, well, about a, a couple of weeks before the 3DS was released, which is a bit strange seeing as, um, well, they've improved the graphics on Pokemon a lot more. And, um, yeah, there's, um, you can catch up like more than 600 Pokemon now in total, and um, uh, the gameplay has been like, wild, like really like, massively improved. And, um, yeah, it's just, it's just loads of fun to play. I've spent quite a few hours on it myself, and I haven't got tired of it yet. You can do so much stuff like catch new unknown Pokemon online, like via Nintendo Wi-Fi connection, and um, yeah, the the storyline's really gripping and it um, keeps you on, on um, uh, the edge of your seat, as the saying goes. So yeah, I've been, I've been enjoying that. Mm. Um, Little Big Planet Two has only just come out. Um, I'm a big fan of Little Big Planet One. I've got it on the PlayStation Three. I think it's the only platform you can have it on. Um, and it's a brilliant, it's mostly sort of a user-based game, really, because they, there is a, a, a main plot line kind of thing, you know, there's a main basic story, but it's mostly about the user develop levels, how you can make stuff by yourself, and the, the, the physics engine in the game is phenomenal, it's incredibly accurate. And Little Big Planet 2 is basically just completely embellished on the first one, um, and it's got, it's, it's so creative, if you look up um, a trailer for it, it's... It's fantastic. They've added so many new elements and ways that you can build levels and way that you can design things, as well as the actual original levels that you play. It's a lot more fun. Um, they're hoping to, to kind of get a bit more bigger of a following because Little Big Planet 2 did come out about three years ago now. So obviously it's, it's dropped down and people are more focusing on things like the first person shooters and Assassin's Creed. But um, hopefully they're going to bring it back. It's a, it's a brilliant piece of work, really. And Tiger Woods 12, it came out on a Friday, and it's all about the Masters Championship, which obviously is next week in golf. So you can start as an amateur, build your way up to play in the Masters, and they've used lasers across the whole course to give you, like, this just like playing it real life. And you can use the new Xbox Connect to play your own golf swings and see how good you really are without having to go to the course. Pretty good. So, yeah, um, another cool feature of Pokemon is that they've... Um, yeah, they've improved the graphics, as I've said before, tremendously. Like, they're almost on par with, um, I'd probably almost say GameCube graphics on the D on the DS, and yeah, they're really good. You would have thought they'd release it for the 3DS, though. Yeah, that's what that's what I was thinking about. Considering the 3DS, like, literally only came out like, well, 3DS three came weeks out last week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a bit of a shame, really. Yeah. But then again, they might re-release it or give a patch or something like yeah, that. Yeah, you never know. Yeah, I mean, I think rumour has it they're going to make um, another Pokemon game called Pokemon Grey, seeing as there's black and white, and obviously red, like, the first Pokemon game is red and blue and yellow. Mm -hmm. So, um, realistically, if they do release another game, it's going to be Pokemon Grey with one of the legendary Pokemon on the box art, and then hopefully they'll add another, like, a bit more of a storyline if they do, which will mm. catch the players' interest. Well, they tried that on this one, didn't they? Team Plasma, and yeah. that kind of thing, it seems to have a bit more of a... Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, like Team Plasma are the main villains in Pokemon Black and White, and um, yeah, um, I won't bore you to detail. I won't bore you to definitely all the details of it, but um, yeah, I mean, there's so much. There's so much, like so much more. Like, I mean, they could take it like so many more levels. Like, yeah, exactly. Really, like, 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 yeah. So, are there any other releases you guys are interested in this year? Uh, Forza Motorsport Four. Yeah. So another one for the Xbox Connect. You can actually walk up to the car. Then down look all the details of the car, get in the driver's seat. Which, like, if you go to a motor show, mm. you can just look at the car. You can't touch it or nothing, anything like that. Yeah. So Xbox really connects a lot of few games coming out to interact with players. Mm. Cool. Um, myself, I'm looking forward to a load more 3DS titles coming out. Because I bought myself one last week. Yeah, I mean, and, um, I'm quite jealous of you for that. I mean, I really want to play Mario Kart 3DS because Mario Kart is one of the best DS games ever made, I think. And exactly. to play it on the 3DS would be amazing. Okay. If they say the graphics are almost on par to the Wii version, that'd be phenomenal. And they're remaking Zelda Ocarina of Time and um, uh, 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 Starlight, 
you know, Star Fox, yeah. which yeah. is basically you and me live oh, yeah, yeah, it's not out good. a lot. Yeah. Um, and they're gonna they're, they're gonna bring out another Mario sixty four in three D, which yeah. is just gonna be epic. Because at the moment all yeah, I've got is really Rayman. It's a bit frustrating. Yeah. They're advertising the smaller titles, but there's none of the titles that I actually yeah. want. So it does <laughs> look good though. It's a good one as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. Sort of May June is when it's out. Mm. All right. Well, that was UCA review. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Um, feel free to contact us on the UCA journalism news website. It's linked at the bottom. Thanks very much. See you Bye. later. Bye. Mm-hmm.